Good morning, folks. We've got space weather to hit today, including the return of solar flare activity. We'll peek in on a fascinating but likely misunderstood event in space. And there's a new data set out, and I'm going to need help from you to play with it. Let's start with the top solar event of the last day, an M-class solar flare that was actually a bit more interesting than just an X-ray event localized at a sunspot group. Flare flash, easily visible at the active region there. Luckily, there is not a big CME release from it. It was indeed the first M-class flare event since we said we'd be getting several days of calm, and we got those, but the silence is broken by not only the flare, but an interesting coronal plasma collapse to its south. Sometimes the plasma releases outward in a CME, and sometimes it collapses back down. This was the latter. And we'll have eyes open at the active regions to see if this flare activity continues today, and if it decides to send plasma out in the other direction. We're also watching the filaments, of which there are several, and there appears to be more of the active regions coming in from the limb. We'll see how the next several days compare to the quiet period we just saw for about the last week. Up next, folks, they are saying a black hole tore a star to pieces and tossed its remains around the local area. Veteran observers know there are major problems with black hole science, but... There are still indeed strange objects out in space that do drastically affect their surroundings. In this case, they say the star that was destroyed is about three times as big as the sun and that it caused an awakening in the magnetic nucleus of the other object. Did they see a black hole? No, but they saw the brightening and the material strewn about rather than sucked into the object. Perhaps more details will follow in the weeks ahead. The top story today is the official database of interplanetary shocks, CME impacts to Earth. This data set is the first of its kind and represents the last, but probably one of the most important of the space weather data sets to study. And I plan to do just that. But to do so does require a skill I don't have, Python. The paper is linked below, but also the data set. And what I'm looking for is someone who can take that package and make charts and graphs of key data points within the set. For example, a line graph of BZ over time. This will allow for better comparison to climate data and even earthquake data to investigate correlations that don't show up when using sunspots, flares, or geomagnetic storms. Looking forward to working together to benefit the observers and perhaps the rest of the community at large. Lastly, folks, we are looking to move the last of our Space Weather News t-shirts. Grab one of those at the shop link below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.